September 11th, 2001, our nation was attacked and we responded. The firefighters and the police responded, knowing this one was different. The buildings collapsed and 2,977 people died. More than 6,000 others were injured. More, most of those who perished were civilians. 343 firefighters, 71 law enforcement officers died in the World Trade Center and on the ground in New York City. 55 military personnel died at the Pentagon. More than 90 countries lost citizens in the attack. It has been reported that over 1,400 9-11 rescue workers who responded to the scene in the, in the days and the months after the attack have since died. Frank Silica was one of those rescue workers who found a metal beam cross. He was overwhelmed and dropped to his knees. Later, he told Father Brian Jordan, who called the first deputy mayor and received a call back from the mayor. The mayor agreed to keep the cross saying, this is a reminder of God's love for all of us. They realized this cross structure gave many rescue workers and many nations around the world encouragement and hope for the future. This cross is what kept going, the rescue efforts going. Frank said, that day our faith was crushed and the cross helped rebuild our faith. Terrorism took down the towers, but faith rebuilt our hearts. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, our nation is fighting an eternal battle. This battle is for the soul of the nation. In Vallejo, the men and women and their families in the police department and fire departments have stood the watch. They have worked long, hard hours. They have paid the price emotionally and physically. Some have paid the price ultimately. I pray for these men and women who are in the battle every day. I pray that you protect and give them the victory each day and every watch that they are on. I ask that you would and turn a nation's heart towards you. The cross is a reminder of your great love for us. May your grace penetrate the hearts and the minds of all the people so they will turn from their sinful ways and stand with you. I pray that we would never forget the one who made us a great nation. Amen. Hello, I'm Bob Sampion, Mayor of the City of Vallejo. All of us remember where we were on September 11th, 2001, when our nation was attacked. 9-11 will always be remembered as a day of infamy for our nation. I'm about to read a proclamation dedicated to our public safety departments for the City of Vallejo, but it also acknowledges the public safety departments of all cities across our country, in particular those that lost their lives during the 9-11 tragedy. What is sad is we all go to work each day 
expecting to go home to our families at the end of our day. And many of these firefighters and police officers never went home. With that, I wish to read this proclamation entitled Vallejo Police and Fire Memorial Day, September 11th, 2020. Whereas in 1962, President Kennedy proclaimed May 15th as National Peace Officer Memorial Day, and our nation annually observes September 11th as Patriot Day, a special day to remember those who were injured or died during the terrorist attacks in the United States in 2001, both days when our grateful nation pays special recognition to all law enforcement officers and to our heroes who lost their lives in the line of duty for our safety and protection. And whereas Vallejo's dedicated fire and police officers deserve our deepest respect for carrying out their sworn duty to protect and serve without any consideration of bravery or heroics, but rather concentrating on keeping our neighborhoods safe as they risk their lives to protect everyone in Vallejo. And whereas the city of Vallejo has budgeted 125 and 80 authorized full-time equivalent members of the Vallejo Police Department and Fire Departments respectively. And nationwide, there are more than 900,000 law enforcement officers, the highest figure ever, with about 12% of those female. They protect our communities and safeguard our democracy. And whereas there are nearly 59,000 assaults against law enforcement officers each year nationwide, resulting in over 18,000 injuries. And since our nation's first recorded death in 1786, with over 22,000 law enforcement officers in the United States that have been killed in the line of duty. And whereas the names of the fallen, dedicated fire and police officers and their last alarm or end of watch are engraved at the Vallejo City Hall Memorial and at the walls of the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial in Washington, D.C., those named are Night Watchman Frank Toll, September 2nd, 1896. Police Officers William L. Eason, Jr. on April 7th, 1966. Calvin C. Thacker, Jr. on April 7th, 1966. Jeffrey L. Azuar on April 12th, 2000. And James Capu on November 17th, 2011. Chief Engineer Daniel Scully on January 25th, 1884. Captain Vince M. Murphy on May 29th, 1939. Lieutenant Charles Hayes on September 3rd, 1961. And Engineer Robin McBee on July 29th, 1980. Now therefore be it proclaimed that I, Bob Sampai, and Mayor, and the Vallejo City Council do hereby proclaim September 11th, 2020 as Vallejo Police and Fire Memorial Day as we publicly salute the selfless service of present and former public safety officers in our community and we call upon all residents to honor them by displaying the flag of the United States of America and by participating in patriotic activities in our community, civic and fraternal organizations, place, places of worship, schools, and other appropriate commemorative expressions of gratitude. Dated September 8, 2020, signed by me, Bob Sampayan, Mayor of the City of Vallejo and the Vallejo City Council. Thank you. Hello. We are here to honor the officers who have fallen in the line of duty, recognizing the sacrifice of those loved and left behind. On September 11, 2001, the 9-11 attacks not only became the single deadliest terrorist attack in human history, but was also the deadliest incident ever for firefighters and law enforcement officers in the United States. The New York City Fire Department lost 343 among their ranks. The terrorists caused more law enforcement line of duty deaths than any other single incident in American history. One officer was killed when United Flight 93 crashed into a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, as he and other passengers attempted to regain control of the plane from the hijackers. 71 officers were killed when the World Trade Center's buildings collapsed in New York City. Of the 2,977 victims killed in the 9-11 attacks, 412 were New York City emergency workers. Through the FDNY and NYPD paid a terrible price that day, 
The firefighters and police officers' heroic efforts undoubtedly saved thousands of lives. The deep sorrow, grief, and, and the sense of loss still lingers on. It is important that those of us left behind recognize that these officers did not die in vain. We owe a debt of gratitude to those who have given their lives and the peace officers and firefighters of this state want this memory to stay fresh in the minds of citizens. We honor them in this tribute, vowing to always remember their names and to never forget their families and their sacrifice. God bless America. I want to give honor to the Veterans Service Organization of Vallejo and to Nestor, who has worked so hard to make this ceremony possible. On September 11th, 2001, our world was rocked and our nation tested to its limits. Brave women and men willingly laid down their lives that others could live. To this day, that spirit of sacrifice lives on. It is with immeasurable gratitude that I recognize the brave women and men in uniform who stand between us and that which would compromise our safety and well-being. Thank you to all of our first responders who live up to the honor of the badge they wear and the integrity of the oath they've taken. Thank you, and God bless each and every one of you. Advisor Monica Brown, today is 9-11. When Pearl Harbor happened, Franklin Delano Roosevelt indicated that this was a day that we live in infamy. For me, 9-11 is my day to live in infamy. Many of us got up on that beautiful Tuesday morning not realizing what was gonna happen. Men and women died in the Twin Towers. Men and women went up to try to save people. Um, it was just a horrific day that I'll never forget. Uh, it, what for me it was not hearing the planes from Travis Air Force Base because that gives me comfort when I hear them and to see the men and women come together that it was such a uniting front that I wish that we could get that again so to those of you who remember 9-11 for those of you who sacrificed on that day thank you because you gave yourself and you definitely put country over self. So on this day, let's not forget it. And please try to remember to be kind to everybody. We seem to have lost that. And to our Canadian brothers and sisters, thank you for taking all the planes, remembering that our friends are what make us strong as the United States. So thank you. On September 11, 2001, America and the world was forever changed. It has been 19 years since that tragic day, but it also symbolizes the American spirit and that let us remember that day as the resurgence of America and the world. The Vallejo Times Herald has a picture of Vallejo Fire Department Engine Company 23, Captain Matt Choi and our local veterans. Captain Choi represents his comrades at the Fire Department of New York and New York Police Department. FDNY and NYPD experienced firsthand the tragedy of 9-11, but they did not quit. Instead, they showed all of America the grit and resilience of all first responders. Our veterans were here also because America's ongoing global war on terrorism is the direct result of the 9-11 attacks. So on this day, we observe Patriot Day and all that it represents. We honor the value of life, those who loved and lost, our country's resilience, and the strength of the American spirit. Today, we are also memorializing our Vallejo Police Department and the Vallejo Fire Department heroes who were killed in the line of duty. And we are also recognizing the selfless sacrifice and sacrifice of all officers. In front of Vallejo City Hall, we have the Vallejo Police and Fire Memorial, and the middle plaque reads, we honor those who have gone before and challenge those who will come after to continue the tradition of excellence. In tribute to Vallejo firefighters and police officers who have lost their lives in the line of duty. For me and my family personally, September 11, 
was a moment of overwhelming shock. It reminded me that life is volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. Therefore, we must make use of every moment we have on earth to love, laugh, and to nurture it with passion and affection for everyone, and for all of us to overcome injustice anywhere. Dreams come true when teams come through. Vallejo strong, Vallejo resilient. God bless America. When 9-11 occurred, I was working as a gang detective uh, for the city of San Jose, and I can distinctly remember watching the news clips of the planes flying into the Twin Towers. I was devastated, as my partners were. Um, as a gang detective, our responsibility was to stop terrorists, street terrorists, and watching that happen and feeling so helpless, we couldn't do anything. And so it reminds me uh, of the sacrifices that the police officers, the fighter fighters, and all those emergency service workers made trying to save lives. And it reminds me of those that lost their lives. And we should never forget. We should never forget their sacrifice. And we should always remember that we are to stop evil people from doing things like that. Um, that's why I do what I do. I have a, an eagle that has the Twin Towers in its wings on my desk and an inscription that says, we will never forget. So I come to work every day and I look at that and it reminds me of why I do what we do. And it should remind all of us to remember and to live up to that sacrifice. Good morning. My name is Kyle Long, Deputy Fire Chief of the Vallejo Fire Department. 19 years ago today, this nation experienced one of the worst days in American history. This morning, I ask that you take a moment to remember the events of September 11, 2001 and preserve the legacy of those we have lost. I remember exactly where I was and what I was doing the time of the attacks. I think the same is true for many people. It is important that we continue to honor this day so that future Americans know of the honor and courage of those people who put themselves in harm's way without thought for themselves to save the lives of people they did not know. The Vallejo Fire Department remembers. We remember the over 3,500 people who perished on September 11, 2001. We remember the 343 FDNY firefighters, the 23 NYPD officers, the 37 Port Authority police officers, the 125 civilian and military personnel at the Pentagon, and the nearly 3,000 civilians who perished in the towers and on those four airliners. As we remember those who perished, we also remember those who gave back, who worked and self-dispatched to find survivors, recover the lost, and clear millions of tons of debris. We remember those who served others. The Vallejo Fire Department will also continue to serve, to be there whenever our citizens call us, and never forget the ultimate sacrifices that were made on September 11th, 2001. Thank you.